Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel, your hub for everything physical media and entertainment. I am Ken, and today guys, I am here to go over some notable non-domestic releases that are coming out in the month of July. So as you know, last month I did a video just covering all of the highlights of the non-domestic titles. Now the main countries that I'm going uh, to talk about here today are Germany, UK, and Australia. That's the stuff that I am the most familiar with and I feel like I can speak on on some level because I want to highlight some of these releases because I'm getting into some of these labels, these overseas labels, and I know that a lot of people are as well. So anytime I see something cool come out overseas, I don't want to neglect that in my uh, 10 most anticipated for the month because I usually just cover U.S. releases. Um, and that I, I want to give this its kind of separate video uh, to talk about all this cool stuff because these other countries, they're doing some cool things, guys. But before we get into it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We talk about physical media on this channel. Every which way we talk about physical media, whether it's in the country, of the United States, whether it's in other countries, we talk about physical media uh, here on this channel. We love it, so that's what we do. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the like button. Let's get right into it, guys. Let's talk about, uh, I like to break this into sections, UK, then we'll do Germany, then we'll do um, Australia. But first things first, we'll cover the UK and talk about the Scream 6 HMV 4K exclusive that is coming out on July the 10th in the UK, like I said. So this is an HMV exclusive, and I do not believe if you live in the States, if you live in any other country, that you'll be able to import this one. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just they, they won't import to the United States, but I don't think that HMV ships anywhere outside um, of the UK. So this is strictly for my UK audience. Like this is a release for you, uh, but it looks like a really cool release that I definitely want to highlight and show off because it's got a nice like red cover on it. And it looks really awesome. Like to be honest, I, I wish we were getting this in the, in the United States. It might, it might incentivize me to actually pick this up on release day because this looks like a really cool cover. Uh, but this comes out on July the 10th in the UK, but it is an HMV uh, 4K exclusive. So getting into the next release, guys, this is the one that's going to blow everybody's doors off. Everybody lit up when this thing was announced. This is the Bruce Lee 4K collection coming out from Arrow Video on July the 17th. Now you have two different options for getting this. You can get the regular standard version, which is like a red cover with Bruce Lee on it, some cool artwork. And then you can get the Arrow Sight exclusive cover, and that's the yellow cover uh, with some cool artwork on it as well. So both look freaking awesome. I mean, this has loads of Bruce Lee movies and content and extras and, and new interviews and new commentaries. Like this thing is jam packed. And like I said, guys, Arrow Video is just destroying the game in 2023. And like this box set right here is honestly one of the nicest looking releases that I've seen this year. Now, I likely won't buy this box set because I'm just not into Kung Fu at this time, and I haven't even seen a Bruce Lee movie. So I'm excited to get Enter the Dragon on 4K, which is included in this box set as well, um, and, and watch that for the first time. That'll be my first Bruce Lee movie. But as far as the movies that are included in this set, you have The Big Boss, you have Fist of Fury, you have The Way of the Dragon, you have Enter the Dragon, you have Game of Death, you have Game of Death 2, and, and all kinds of alternate cuts, and, and like I said, interviews and special features. This is an incredible looking box set. You got lobby cards, you got booklets, you got posters in this set. It's going for 110 pounds currently for the regular edition on the Aero Video website in the UK, and it's going for 120 pounds for the Aero Video site exclusive, but looks like an incredible box set, and that is coming out on July the 17th. We also have, coming out in the UK, The Last of Us 4. 4K Steelbook. This is coming out from Warner Brothers, but it is a UK exclusive. So the US is not receiving a Steelbook for The Last of Us. I thought that maybe they would announce it, but if they were going to announce it, they would have announced it by now. Uh, but this is the only way that you can get the Steelbook for The Last of Us. You have to import this from uh, the UK. And this may be available on Diabolic. I feel like I've seen it on Diabolic on Orbit. So I think that you can get on there um, and pre-order it. But yeah, this is a really nice looking Steelbook though, for sure. Um, and I, again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the show, so this is not something that I'm going to get. But if you are a super fan of the show, 
you're probably going to want to get the Steelbook because it's really nice. And that comes out um, on July the 17th. Also, only getting a Steelbook in the UK is Evil Dead Rise. And a lot of people were hoping it would get one in the United States, which it could still somewhere down the line. But Evil Dead Rise is getting a 4K Steelbook from Studio Canal coming out on July the 17th just in the UK. And I believe this is also available to pre-order on Diabolic or Orbit. If it is, guys, I will link it down below in the description. But again, looks like a really nice Steelbook for sure. Sure. And I just, I don't understand why we don't get these steelbooks, but the UK is getting all, they're cleaning up over there in the UK uh, with these awesome steelbooks. Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but I completely forgot to cover in the original recording these two amazing Second Sight films releases, Blu-ray releases that are both coming out on July the 24th. We have Frontiers and we have May. Both of these look like incredible additions uh, from Second Sight. Now, they are Blu-rays and they are Region B, uh, so definitely keep that in mind. But yeah, always got, I cannot forget to cover uh, Second Sight releases. They're just doing some of the most incredible work right now um, in physical media, and both of these box sets just look amazing. We also got a Bloodsport 4K Steelbook, and now we're moving into the Germany portion um, of the video. A Bloodsport 4K Steelbook coming out from Cape Light Pictures um, on July the 14th. And like I said, this is a German release. Um, looks like a really nice Steelbook. Bloodsport's been released on 4K every which way it feels like. Um, so yeah, Bloodsport. I'm still gonna hold out, guys. Look, I haven't seen this movie. I'm gonna hold out because I feel like they'll release this movie some way in the United States, whether it's a Lionsgate Steelbook, whether it's a Vinegar Syndrome VSU edition, 4K. I feel like they'll do a really nice edition of Bloodsport on 4K in the US at some point. It just feels like something they would do. So I'm gonna hold out, even though they continue to release loads of different types of Bloodsport 4Ks in the uh, in, in Germany, and I believe in the UK as well, one just got announced. But yeah, I'm holding out for the US. Hopefully they'll announce Bloodsport on 4K here. But yeah, if you can't wait, there is a really nice looking steelbook available from Cape Light Pictures in Germany. We also got the whale coming out on 4K. Now this just got a Blu-ray in the United States. It's getting a 4K in Germany from Playon, and I hope I pronounced that right, but I probably didn't. That's coming out on July the 27th. You're gonna have two different covers on this one. I believe it's a media book. You're gonna have a cover A, uh, which to be honest, I really like this cover. I like the kind of hand-drawn artwork that it has. And then you have the Amazon exclusive cover B as well, which is this nice like blue cover with a whale, an actual like whale on the cover. So both look beautiful though. Both look really nice. Um, but yeah, if you want the whale on 4k, if you really love this movie and you want to watch it on 4k, I don't feel like this is a movie that really necessitates a 4k. It's like one location inside of this dude's house, like for the most of the movie, for the majority of the movie, but you can say that about anything. You can say about 12 angry men. I thought that was incredible, um, 4k, but I don't know guys, the, the whale on 4k, are you excited for that? Are you going to get this version? It looks to be the only way you can get the whale on 4k at this point. I don't really see it. Maybe a 24 will do it at some point on 4k. Maybe possibly I could see that. But as of right now, this is the only way you can get uh, the whale on 4k. Now moving into Australia, this is where it's the most active, I believe, uh, because you have via vision, you have umbrella, you have imprint. So all kinds of good stuff coming out from Australia this month. We have four rooms coming out on Blu-ray guys, uh, from via vision, just getting a regular Blu-ray release. This is the first time I believe this has gotten a legitimate, uh, Blu-ray release. I actually have a bootleg Blu-ray release in my collection, uh, right now. This comes out on July the 5th. So this is a movie that I believe was written by Quentin Tarantino. It's kind of an anthology film that takes place in four different rooms throughout the night, four different stories, but it's all centered around uh, this bellhop played by Tim Roth. So this is a movie that I watched all the time when I was a kid. Like we had it on VHS and I just loved it. I watched it like on repeat, it feels like. I haven't seen it in a very long time. I need to watch that bootleg that I have. Uh, but it's a really fun movie though. It's got Madonna in it. It's got Jennifer Beals. It's got Antonio Banderas. So it's actually got Quentin Tarantino. He plays the, the lead guy in the last room that Tim Roth goes to. 
Um, so it, it's a really fun movie, though. I recommend it. Anthology style, like every single room that he goes to um, has a different story attached to it. And they're all like pretty weird and kind of messed up, too. So I enjoy four rooms. Will I get this Blu-ray? Probably not. I'll, again, I'll hold out, see if it gets a legitimate release in the States and just hold on to my uh, bootleg that I have in my collection. But if you want this one, it comes out from ViaVision on July the 5th. We also have uh, two releases coming out from Umbrella this month. They're pretty big releases. We have Razorback coming out on 4K, which just got, which just got a, a Shout Factory Blu-ray, Screen Factory Blu-ray a couple of months ago. That's coming out from Umbrella on July the 5th. You're also getting a collector's edition as well. I think there's two different collector's edition. There's the, the big box edition with the posters and the booklets and the art cards. And then there's another edition with a t-shirt um, attached to it as well. So yeah, lots of a different editions for Razorback on 4K for sure coming out on July the 5th. We also got kids coming out on Blu-ray uh, from Umbrella getting a special edition release as well, big box set release, and that's coming out on July the 5th. So this is a movie that I've been hearing about for a long time. I know it's got um, Rosario Dawson in it, and a lot of people are saying it, it's really messed up. It's like a really messed up, uh, realistic depiction of kids in the 90s, and it, it incorporates a lot of drug use and a lot of, a lot of sex. Um, a lot of realistic stuff that real kids go through sometimes. So I, I'm interested in watching this movie, but I have heard some really, there's like some really disturbing sequences in it. I don't know if I'm always up for watching that kind of stuff, but I'll definitely check this one out because I do anticipate I'll get this in from Umbrella at, at some point to, to show off for you guys. So yeah, kids on Blu-ray, and I don't believe this has had a Blu-ray. I think that the last time this was put out was on DVD, so this will be an upgrade for this movie, first time um, on Blu-ray. We also have coming out from Imprint three different releases, and these are all like big collection releases with multiple movies in them. Uh, we have the Walter Hill six movie collection. A lot a lot of people have been waiting for and anticipating this release. This comes out from Imprint on July the 26th, so looks like a really awesome collection of Walter Hill films. And the more I watch from Walter Hill, like the more I really love him as a director. Like he did the 48 Hours movies, he did the Warriors, of course, and I just think he's a really, really awesome director. Red Heat, and this is a box set with some of his earlier films, I believe. You have Hard Times, you have The Driver on both. Blu-ray and 4K in this set. You have The Long Riders. You have Extreme Prejudice, which got that Vestron video release last year. You have Johnny Handsome and Broken Trail. So I'm kind of curious and interested uh, to get this set for sure. It looks like a really nice set. I don't really get stuff from Imprint. Uh, you know, at all. I, I've never gotten anything from Imprint. I've never ordered from them. So maybe this will be my first release that I get from them. Who knows? Uh, we also had the Sydney J. Fury collection. This is a five movie collection, including The Lawyer, Little Foss, and Big Halsey. Hits, Sheila Levine is Dead and Living in New York, and The Boys in Company C. So all five of these movies directed by uh, Sidney J. Fury. Not familiar with his work at all, so I would definitely be interested to check that out um, at some point, though. And then lastly, we have a four-film Gene Hackman collection, including I Never Sang for My Father, Bite the Bullet, The Domino Principle, and Marcher Dies. So these are all pretty obscure movies for me. I, I, I know Gene Hackman. I know his big movies um, and his filmography, but I've never heard of any of these films before. So uh, definitely want to look out for it. These are all movies from 1970 to 1977. So there you have it, guys. That's the highlights of the non-domestic releases that are coming out in the month of July. Please, in the comment section below, let me know if you enjoy hearing about these releases, even if you don't plan on getting them, even if you don't live in these countries. Let me know if you enjoy this, if you want me to keep doing this in the comment section below, because I enjoy talking about physical media of all types in all countries. I just love physical media. So definitely some cool stuff that needs to be highlighted coming out in other countries. So thank y'all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those bell notifications, and follow me on all my social media accounts. Those links are down below in the description, and we'll see you next time.